Today, we're diving into the incredible world of laryngoscope blades, the heroes of airway management. Hey, there. Welcome back to Anesthesia Tech. Laryngoscope Laryngoscope is an instrument used to visualize the larynx and surrounding structures. The main purpose of a laryngoscope is to aid the intubation of the trachea with an endotracheal tube. This is what a laryngoscope looks like. Coming to the parts of the laryngoscope. It has two main parts. The first one is the handle, which also contains the battery. This is the place where we are going to hold this instrument. And the detachable blade where it is inserted into the mouth. The blade is attached to the handle by a hinge type of joint. Let's deeply discuss the handle of the laryngoscope. When we use a laryngoscope, the part we hold in our hand is called the handle. It's like the laryngoscope's grip. The handle is specially designed with ridges to make sure it doesn't slip and has a good hold. Inside the handle, some batteries provide power to the laryngoscope. Now, here's the cool part. When they attach the blade to the handle, there's a little metal ball on the blade's heel which is the bottom part. This ball connects with a specific spot inside the handle. When this connection happens, like magic, it completes an electrical circuit that powers a bulb. This bulb shines a bright light, helping the doctor see inside the patient's throat clearly during intubation. It's like a light in a dark tunnel. In some fancy laryngoscopes, the handle even has a halogen bulb. This bulb works with optical fibers in the blade to give an even better and brighter light. It's like having a tiny flashlight that shows everything clearly. Different patients need different types of handles. For example, obese patients or pregnant ones might need a stubby handle to avoid getting in the way of their large breasts. And when it comes to kids, they get a special pencil handle. Because it's smaller, easier to hold, and offers better control during intubation. It's designed to work with blades suitable for children's airway anatomy, ensuring safer and more efficient procedures. Now, let me tell you about the Patil Syracuse handle. It's a bit like a transformer. The blade can be adjusted and locked in four different positions relative to the handle. It's like having a blade that can bend at different angles, almost like a superhero's tool, helping the doctor find the best way to see the patient's throat. At last, we have a Howland lock. This Howland lock is a safety feature in certain laryngoscopes, limiting the blade angle to 45 degrees during intubation. It reduces the risk of airway injury and ensures a clear view of the vocal cords. Not all laryngoscopes have this feature, but it's valuable for precise and safe procedures. Okay, now it's time for the blades. The laryngoscope blade is the part that goes into the patient's mouth. It has different sections. The tongue or spatula is used to move the tongue aside and lower the jaw so that we can see the larynx. The flange keeps the tongue away from our view. The flange, web, and tongue are parts of a laryngoscope blade's cross-section. The flange is the part that contains the web and light source. The tongue is the part that lifts the epiglottis directly to reveal the cords. The web is the part that connects the blade to the handle and makes an electrical connection when extended. The tip is the end of the blade used to lift the epiglottis, which helps with the view. At the bottom of the blade it has a metal ball that connects to the handle. Also, the blade has a light source to help us to see better. Coming to the sizes. The International Organization for Standardization ISO, has established a system of blade sizes for laryngoscopes to ensure consistency and efficiency in medical practice. The ISO blade sizes are as follows. ISO 00 and ISO 000, 
designed for extremely small infants, including premature babies. ISO-0, intended for neonatal patients or very small infants. ISO-1, suitable for infants and small children. ISO-2, commonly used for older children and small adults. ISO-3, frequently employed for average-sized adults. ISO-4, typically utilized for larger adults. ISO-5, occasionally applied for very tall or robust individuals. These standardized blade sizes allow healthcare professionals to select the most appropriate blade for each patient's age and size, ensuring safe and effective intubation procedures. Next, we'll discuss different types of laryngoscope blades used in airway management. We are going to classify the blades into rigid and flexible. Again we are classifying the rigid laryngoscopes into direct rigid laryngoscope and indirect rigid laryngoscope. In direct rigid laryngoscope we have Laryngoscopes with straight blades Straight blades are commonly used for patients with normal airway anatomy or those with mildly difficult airways. They provide a direct view of the vocal cords and the glottis, but may require more lifting force and skill to expose the larynx properly. These blades are suitable for routine intubations and are often used in emergencies. In particular, straight blades are commonly used in pediatric patients due to their unique airway anatomy. Gettle, Wisconsin, and Miller are some straight blades in clinical practice. Laryngoscopes with curved blades Curved blades, such as Macintosh, McCoy, Hinge Tip for better lifting, Oxford, and Snow have a curved shape that follows the anatomical curvature of the oropharynx and laryngopharynx. They are more commonly used than straight blades because they offer an easier lifting motion, which facilitates better visualization of the vocal cords. Curved blades are particularly useful for patients with difficult airway anatomy, limited mouth opening, or an anterior larynx. Macintosh blades, in particular, are widely used in anesthesia and are considered the standard blade for routine intubations. Laryngoscopes with features of both blades These laryngoscope blades, such as Cardiff and Dorges blades, combine the advantages of both straight and curved designs providing clinicians with the flexibility to adapt their technique to individual patients. The Cardiff blade has a contoured design with a mid-curve, making it suitable for a wide range of intubations. Dorge's blades have a unique design that allows for easy insertion and a smooth transition from indirect to direct laryngoscopy. These blades can be beneficial in situations where it is challenging to determine which type of blade is the most appropriate. Laryngoscopes for special purposes Special purpose laryngoscope blades are designed for specific clinical situations or patient populations. Polio blades are suitable for patients with limited neck movement, such as those with cervical spine injuries or stiffness. Oxaport and toll blades are designed for special applications, like providing ventilation during oxygen administration in certain scenarios. These blades can be valuable tools in specific clinical settings but may not be suitable for routine intubations. Indirect laryngoscopes are another category, provide indirect airway views. They use optical components like prisms, such as Bellscope, TrueView, and Huffman Prism. They use mirrors to redirect the view. Some indirect laryngoscopes use optical stylets, for example, Bonfil's retromolar and Shikani's intubating stylet. This optical stylets are thin, flexible, with an optical element for guiding the tube. There are also video laryngoscopes like Bursi DCI, CMAC, Glidescope, and others, which provide video-based visualization during intubation. This real-time images provide better visualization for intubation. Lastly, we have rigid indirect fiber optic laryngoscope. So this has a rigid fiber bundle for viewing. With the fiber optic bundle, navigate bends for difficult airways and diagnostic procedures. 
In this technique, the glottis is not visualized directly classical example of such a laryngoscope is the Bullard laryngoscope. Wuscope is another commonly used indirect laryngoscope, which has a channel for guiding the endotracheal tube channel for guiding endotracheal tube. Lastly, we have flexible fiber optic laryngoscope. It is a thin, flexible fiber optic bundle that provides real-time visualization of the airway's bends and corners. These scopes are particularly useful in difficult intubations and diagnostic or therapeutic procedures. These various types of laryngoscopes offer different advantages and may be chosen based on the patient's anatomy, the procedure's requirements, and the preferences of the medical professional performing the intubation. Okay, friends, that's all about today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.